War Diary Day 490 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So the gossip is that in the aftermath of uh, Prigozhin's mutiny, no longer coup I think, mutiny against Vladimir Putin's generals, not Vladimir Putin, the secret police are going about their business. And what they've done, so people say, is that they've locked up General Sorovakin, also known as General Armageddon. Uh, apparently he's in the worst prison in Moscow, um, I think it's pronounced Lef Leftopto, but I often get that wrong, but he's disappeared from view. And the reason for this is because he was very, very close to Prigozhin, and the gossip is that he was in on the mutiny and the planning of the mutiny. Now remember, this isn't to actually overthrow Vladimir Putin, it's to get King John, if we take a medieval thing, and to get him to understand that the barons closest to him are bad people. In particular, Generals Shoigu and Gerasimov. Now, Shoigu isn't a proper uh, soldier, a proper general. He's some kind of salesman who Putin befriended, Putin liked, and Putin has overpromoted. So there's a great big question mark about Shoigu. But his great asset is, of course, he is Putin's closest friend, people say. Gerasimov is the real deal. He's a real general, and the Ukrainians respect his mind. Nevertheless, um, both of these two are primarily responsible uh, for doing the war and for screwing it up. And so that is why people like Sorovakin wanted were on Prigozhin's side and, you know, saying, hey, Putin, get rid of these guys, they're rubbish. Thank you very much. So, but what's really happening here is the power play in the Kremlin is hurting Russia's ability to prosecute its war. And that, folks, is good news. Vladimir Putin, I have a simple message for you. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.